<laughs> and the rest is history on that one. <laughs> right, over there, we'll go there. We've got the... We've got the salsa fit. That's yeah. nearly ready. I'm just going to drain off the purple sprouting now. Yeah. So that's lovely. But this makes also great, great for mash as well, isn't it, salsa fit? Oh, it's absolutely it's delicious. And it also goes very well with fish as well. Yeah. Which people might not think about. It's got that oystery, like we mentioned, that yeah, oystery exactly. sort of flavour. So we've got sure the salsa like there. That. No, I was going <laughs> What is salsa feet? Salsa feet. What is that? There, you can take that on with you. <laughs> I don't know where you get through customs with it. <laughs> 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 it looks like a cigar, that's what it is. So in goes it's the root, no? Yeah, it's a root it's a vegetable root. that grows in the winter. Yes. And it actually tastes like uh, Right, what white have we got? Asparagus. We start plating this up now. Yeah. Start plating that up. Yeah, a little bit more seasoning on that. <laughs> All those flavours together. So I'm just going to take the breast off now. Yeah. Which is lovely and easy because we've taken out the wishbone. Do a little bit of black pepper in there for you. Yeah, that would be lovely, James. You see that? Now, the secret is with, I think with duck as well, all game sort of stuff, keep it nice and pink. Keep it nice and pink, and that's exactly what we've managed to do here, thankfully. And there's that. There we go. We can start one more off. Mm. And in the restaurant, you do, what, two of these per portion? Something like two that? of these per portion, that's right. But it's... Yeah. So lovely and tender, this meat. There it's delicious. So very simply, we're just going <laughs> to place that in the middle of the plate. And all that lovely flavour, the pancetta just yeah. goes so well against... I do what I love about your sort of food as well. Although, you know, Michelin star food can be a little bit small, the Scottish Michelin star, which is a decent portion. That's a really? decent portion. We don't want people going home hungry. Yeah. Otherwise, they won't come back in <laughs> Scotland. A <laughs> little bit of sauce on it as well. A little bit of sauce. And the salsa for your crisps on top there, that's going to give it a lovely texture. And then we've got that lovely game jupe. Over the top. And that's real seasonal cooking so for this time of year. So we've got some roasted teal yep. with purple sprouting broccoli, salsa for and salsa for crisps, and a lovely game jupe and a few bits of pancetta. Easy as that. So you first of all got to find your teal, aren't you, really? <laughs> yeah, that's there right. you go. Well, We're waiting. I yeah, you're waiting. <laughs> have a seat here. I have to move my salsa. Yeah, you got your salsa, yeah. but dive Ooh, into that. Ladies first. first. Now, I need, try it, because I know you were <laughs> interested in trying duck. Yes. So it's well, another, I it's another yeah, yeah, but this is slightly yeah. different. Yeah. Dive in, dive in, dive in, dive in. Is it salsa if you like parsnip, or is it? But taste it. It's got, oh, a, yeah. it's got a flavour of its own. I tasted it raw. It's quite good. Yeah, exactly. It's got to be cooked, really. Never heard of it being. What do you think to it? Mm, it's quite nice. Pretty good. Mm, yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Well, I'll you let you to dive into your tail. But so yeah. let's go back uh, to Romsey with Ollie, and he's wearing his best tartan trues, apparently. Which is that? Have I got it? The pronounced trousers. Trousers. There you go. <laughs> Just for you, Tom. Uh, now, what did he choose to go with uh, Tom's tasty tail? Tom is cooking teal. The Los Sommeliers swear by Shiraz to match with a duck, and you could choose this one from Erasuriz. Max Reserva, hearty and beefy. But for this dish, I think it would swamp our gentle teal, so I'm going to stick with Shiraz, but use it in a blend to get a bit more elegance out of the wine. And I am selecting... <sighs> the Red Mullet. <laughs> oh, yes. This wine comes from Australia's Clare Valley, famed for its Rieslings and more elegant styles of red wine. And if you give it a sniff, there's a bit of perfume in there, but also it's a great balance between red fruit and black fruit. It's not too heavy, but this is by no means a wimp. As Robert Burns said, give him strong drink until he wink. <clears throat> Wow, delicious. It's not that strong, but with game, that's a good thing. If you think of the recipe, you've got the saltiness of the pancetta and the unique flavour of the salsify that both require some juicy fruit. And this wine's got a beautiful, fine edge of tannin that just boxes it in. It's a special blend of Tempranillo, Grenache, Shiraz and Mourvedre. If you like, it's the Rhone meets Rioja. Perfect for that game jus. Tom? Here's to your top teal and big up for Burns Night. Cheers. Wicked. I swear he's losing the plot every week. But <laughs> <laughs> is it wicked? What do you think? Uh, well, it certainly it's, it smells absolutely delicious. Let's have a taste. I think it's quite an unusual name, but I think you know, you're a connoisseur of red wine. It's great wine. It really goes 
perfect yeah. with this. Yeah. Mm. Red mullet. Tom, you never is... heard anything like that yeah. for uh, no, to, but go, a great to go with game. No, it's beautiful. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, and just just middle of six pounds sixty six. Again, a complete bargain. Yeah. Another great bargain. Now you can be joining us here at the chef's table sometime in the series. All you have to do is write to us with your name, address, and most importantly, a daytime phone number. To Saturday Kitchen, PO Box three one triple eight SE eleven four XS. Don't forget the stamp, please. Right, it's time to get back to the Celebrity Mars Chef semi-final. Now, after their roasting earlier, Andy, Liz, Mark and Lewis all have to follow the same recipe for lobster thermidor. Although in Lewis's case, it appears he's been given a recipe for disaster instead.